Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today I am going to provide you the question answers from Chapter 7, Class 6, Getting to Know the Plant. This is from West Bengal Board English Medium. So I will provide the exercise and inside question answers from this chapter. Before we start, requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get for the notifications from the channel on the right hand. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist you will find all the videos from there. So let's start class 6 West Bengal board chapter 7 getting to know the plan. At first we have the objective parts from the exercise. Number A 1 choose the correct answer. Number A this plant is an example of shrub. Answer is rose. Number B, this plant is an example of a climber. Answer is to grape. Number C, this plant is an example of a creeper. Answer is number 1, pumpkin. Number D, trans transpiration takes place through this. Answer is number 3, stomata. Number E, these are the female parts of the flower. Answer is number 2, stigma, st uh, style and ovary. Next, true or false. Number A, shrubs have a main stem called the trunk. False. Number B, roots conduct water and minerals to all parts of the plant. True. Number C, fibers root have a primary root that grows straight down deep into the soil. False. Number D, internodes are the points of attachment on the stem for leaves, buds and flowers. False. Number E, the stamen has three parts, stigma, style and ovary, false. Number 3, fill in the blanks. Number A, small plants with soft green stems arising close to the ground are called herbs. Number B, small to medium sized plants with strong woody stems having branches growing close to the ground are called shrubs. Number C, Large plants with a strong and woody stem are called trees. Number D. Trees generally have a single strong and woody stem called the trunk. Number E. The trunk of many trees have a hard outer part called the bark. Next number 4. Answer in one word. Number A. The smaller side roots, side roots that form around the main root in a trap, tap root uh, system. Lateral roots number b process by which water vapor is lost from the surface of leaves transpiration number c the female part of a flower pistil number d small bead like structures present in the ovary ovules number e powdery materials found on the anther of a flower pollen grains now we have the question answer part Number 1A list the types of a plant based on size and nature of stems giving two examples for each based on the size and nature of the stem plants around us can be categorized into halves, shrubs, trees, climbers and creepers. Halves, grass, coriander, mint. I have given three examples in the place of two examples if you want uh, then you can add or just give two examples among them okay. Uh, shrubs, rose plant, jasmine plant, hibiscus plant, trees, mango tree, palm tree, apple tree, climbers, pea plant, grape plant, bitter gourd plant, creepers, watermelon plant, pumpkin plant, strawberry plant. Number B. Explain why climbers need tendrils. Climbers have thin flexible stems that are usually green and non-woody. Most climbers have special modifications called tendrils that wind themselves around sticks, walls and other plants and help the plant climb up. Number C. Give any two functions of the following root, stem, leaf. At first root. So here in the place of two functions, I gave uh, three functions for each. Uh, okay, so anchor or hold the plant in the ground. Next point, absorb water with dissolved minerals from the soil. Last point, some roots store products of photosynthesis in the form of sugar and starch. Next, stem. First one holds the plant upright. Next, bears leaves, flowers and fruits. 
third point acts as a transport system of the plant water and minerals are transported up from the roots to the leaves sugar and other substances produced in the leaves are carried to all the parts of the plant including down to the roots next leaf so two functions are first one is photosynthesis the main function of leaves is photosynthesis the process by which green plants use sunlight to put together carbon dioxide and water in order to make sugars and release oxygen is called photosynthesis here the procedure has mentioned carbon dioxide plus water sunlight chlorophyll sugar plus oxygen transportation is the second function of leaf the roots of plants stick in water from the soil which the stem takes to all parts of the plant including the leaves leaves release water vapor into the atmosphere through the stomata transpiration cools the plant when the weather is very hot it also helps water from the stem and root move upwards or get pulled into the leaves third leaves of some plants like pea plant are modified to form tendrils that help these plants attach to a surfaces for support next number d definition the following terms first one photosynthesis second one transpiration photosynthesis is the process by which green plants use sunlight to put toge together carbon dioxide and water in order to make sugars and release oxygen is called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means to join next transpir uh, transpiration the process by which water vapor is lost from the surface of the leaves is called transpiration it cools the plant when the weather is very hot it also helps water from the stem and roots move upwards or get pulled into the leaves namari give one reason why you think petals of uh, flowers are brightly uh, colored the colored petals attract insects for pollination next number 2 differentiate between climbers and creepers so first point under creepers plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but grow along the ground are called creepers under climbers the first point is plants with weak and thin stem thin stems which cannot stand upright or their own and need support such as sticks walls and a tree to stand upright are called climbers second point under creepers examples with potato pumpkin watermelon plant etc under under climbers examples are pea plant grape plant etc next differentiate number 2 tap root fiber root number 1 tap root refers to the main root and its branches number 1 under fiber root fibers root refer to the fine here like roots number 2 tap roots develop from the radical which is the embryonic root number 2 fibers root develop from stems or leaves number 3 tap roots grow vertically deep into the soil number 3 fiber roots are short and most of this grow horizontally in the soil number 4 example uh, of tap roots are carrot plant uh, carrot plant radish plant etc example of uh, fiber roots sugarcane plant uh, wheat plant etc okay number 3 reticulate venation and parallel venation number 1 veins are distributed in a network like pattern on both sides of the midrib number 1 here veins are parallel to midrib throughout the leaf under reticulate venation number 2 midrib is very prominently visible number 2 here midrib is not well distinguished number 3 this kind of venation is seen in taproot system plants like mango datura etc and here on number 3 this type of venation is found in fiber system plants like grasses number b describe any two modifications of the following root stem leaves root some roots are modified to perform additional functions some root modifications are roots such as carrot radish and turnip store food and become fleshy we eat such roots as vegetables these are called storage roots second point roots of the banyan tree grow down from the branches to give extra support to the large branches these are called prop roots last point roots of aquatic plants are spongy and filled with air to help the plant float in water 
stem some stems are modified to perform additional functions some stem modifications are the following first point ginger onion and potato are underground stems as they grow below the ground they act as storage stems next point stems of cacti are fleshy and green and take part in photosynthesis last uh, sorry uh, next point stems of plants such as bitter gourd and cucumber are modified to form tendrils that help these plants attach to nearby surfaces of for support last point stems of plant such as rose plants are modified to form woody thorns that helps protect the plant next leaf some leaves are modified to perform additional functions some modifications are the following first point leaves of a pea plant are modified to form tendrils that help these plants attach to nearby surfaces for support leaves of a cactus plant are modified to form spines that help prevent the loss of water through transpiration as cactus plants are found in deserts this is a useful modification last point leaves of peach plant are modified to trap insects as these plants grow in soil this that is poor in some nutrients the insects provide them uh, provide these nutrients to the plants number c in far the stem is like like a two way street stem is called a two way street because it conducts minerals and water from roots of all other parts of the plant and at the same it conducts food prepared by leaves to other other parts of the plant okay next number d define transpiration describe a simple experiment to show that plants undergo transpiration the process by which water vapor is lost from the surface of the leaves is called transpiration transpiration cools the plant when the weather is very hot it also helps water from the stem and roots move upwards or get pulled into the leaves experiment take a well watered potted plant and keep the plant on the glass plate and cover it with a bell jar number 2 apply vaseline or grease at the base of the bell jar to prevent outer air from coming inside making it air tight number 3 keep the whole apparatus in light for about 2 to 3 hours and observe observation a few drops of water can be observed on the inner surface of the polythen bags result transpiration occurs from potted plants in the form of water vapor which condenses to form water droplets okay question number e describe and draw the plants you should draw the uh, diagram from the book okay uh, just see the book and find out the diagram uh, uh, i just want to show you the diagram also this is the diagram you can draw uh, from this picture okay and now this is the answer of this question flower has the following part stamen this is the male part of the flower the stamen has two parts a long filament and a solen tip called the anther the pollen grains are powdery material found on the anther pistil this is the female part of the flower the pistil has three parts a solen tip called the stigma a long style and a solen base called a the ovary which contains small bead like structures called in ovules it is the ovary that later develops into a fruit and ovules that later become the seeds petal this is the colorful part of the flower most flowers have very bright and colorful petals the function of the petal is to attract insects sepals these are the outermost part of the flower they are generally green in color their main function is to protect the bud during uh, during its development into a flower they are generally shed off after the flower becomes a fruit so these are the exercise questions from this chapter getting to know the plants i will provide the inside questions in the next video otherwise the video would be too lengthy okay so don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications from the channel on the right time if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box of playlist you will find all the videos from there so see you soon with the inside questions from this chapter till then take care and bye